Alright, August 23rd, 2021 now. I just went in and spoke to Tia Freo, 1975. Um, during this uh, time, whatever, when my son, the kid, the what I put on the birth certificate was Anthony Tia Freo, and I put cat, I put the th Roman numeral three. Um, indicative of what was in the residence at the time. Um, he moved in. I couldn't get him out. I had people from the Air Force come and check in with me. That was the whole Sarah and Jay thing. Uh, and then they disappeared to Arizona. I don't know, it was weird. Um, anyway, so 2012, my son Anthony was born in Stony Brook. Um, and Anthony, 1975, and I went to Cape May. I can't remember if that was around 2013. I found Cape May, New Jersey, the southern the southern mansion. It looked absolutely gorgeous. I just wanted to go and I had um some like reserve money that I just I just wanted to go. So I booked it and I went. Uh he came along with me. It's kind of how I did the Havasu reservation. Uh, Indian Reservation in Nevada, like Arizona area, when I hiked into the Grand Canyon, but I was, that was two, I had, that was 2008, I think, or 2009, anyway, it's 2012, uh, I drove down to New Jersey to Cape May, while I was there, uh, Anthony's big in a nightlife, I'm not, so he wanted to walk around town, but it's this gorgeous, like old Victorian seaside, I call it like Disney World for, like they, they keep everything so beautiful and pristine um, and like beautifully historic. Um, and Anth I said, I can't imagine there's much nightlife here, Anthony. I was like, you know, maybe with dinner and like wine or something, but like, so he wanted to go for an after hours drink, which was weird for me. And then we found this one place that was open and there was a piano man playing Billy Joel. And then there was like this group of guys to the right of Anthony. And then they struck up a conversation. Then some thing opened and we went down to something called a boiler room. They kept buying, Anth or Anthony kept buying them and himself, not me. Holy sh he like became a frat boy all of a sudden. He was buying them shots and they're like best friends. Totally for, I'm like, I'm in New Jersey by myself. And I know him and I like aren't like, like fuzzy clothes, but like, you're going to just ditch me and like go drink with some strangers. I mean, like highly dangerous. Hello. So anyway, so his ass got really, really. So one of the, one of the guys in the group, like, I went to the bathroom, and then he, like, noticed that I was, like, by myself. He came over to talk, and I thought that was really nice, kind of, sort of, but in, like, a, I don't know. And then, um, I'm always so, like, cautious, but thankful, but grateful if it seems like it's altruistic, but I have been, whatever, taken before. And then, I've got, um, and that was in New Jersey, which is the, uh, initiate, initials NJ and then um which was a drive it was not an airplane and then Anthony got so drunk and while we were there was it while we were there sweatshirt Cape May I think he did he bought himself a sweatshirt that says Cape May on it he wasn't feeling good or some I don't know something along those lines but I wound up I disappeared at some point, like, and I was wearing that sweatshirt, but I think that was, again, with space and time and with the dilation, I think that was closer to, like, my 36th birthday, and 2012 was closer to my 31st birthday, so somewhere in between that time and space, I don't know where I was and what I was doing, but there was, like, a flash freeze at Vulcan level, and I just apparated into some 
Vericaton, I would call it, for verification. And I believe I was wearing, and I think that's where Mark Iorio came in. But then there was like a carriage house, like overlay, visual overlay, where he just apparated into the carriage house during a, like, weed scenario. I mean, it was very weird. And then, like, he wanted to take me in my car for a ride. And I was like, that's fine. So I gave him the keys and he drove to take me to a different mark. Or maybe he said Eric, so this way it wouldn't get confusing. Then we got to Eric's house in Sachem. He let me off. He was staying in the car. I went in. And I think that's where I was wearing the Cape May sweatshirt. If the visual recon is continuous in a kind of sort of overlapping method. And then I went into the... It was like a ranch. A single, like a one level ranch. I went up a couple of steps and into the ranch... And then I was in Happily Ever After, as far as I was concerned. Like, it just... Whatever. And then I never wanted to come back. But then I did. Not because I wanted to. Um, but I came back to something like this. For this problem in... Volcanic rock and shattered glass and plexiglass. With an opaque method. Um, and when I returned which has several overlay task force unit stuff, I finally got this sweatshirt back, which had gone missing, but I didn't know it was missing because I don't really take inventory of my closet. I usually wear like the same things and sometimes something falls out of rotation and I forget about it. But I know that people take things from me like tokens. So some, I just checked with Anthony. He says he hasn't seen the Kate May sweatshirt. I'm like, yeah, that's because I disappeared in it. I was like, and then I came back in a different sweatshirt. I mean, I told him straight to his face. I, I mean, whatever. Um, so I, I said, I think that was me. Like I lost it somehow along the way. So I don't know who has the Kate May sweatshirt, but somebody has the Kate May sweatshirt as a token or a totem that we met. Well, the last time I was taken for, I don't know. I don't know if it's vouchered somewhere. I'm really not sure. And then somebody's got my ex, my spare key, which I was pretty sure I gave to what I call Nicklaus or Nicholas. But then it gets confusing because I don't think he had skin on. And then I had so much damage on my unit, I shed mine. Unhappily ever after. Um, but that gets confusing. So, I don't know where my Cape May sweatshirt went. I don't know where the spare key is. Somebody has both my Mini Cooper spare key and they have my Cape May sweatshirt. I have back the original sweatshirt that Nicholas bought me um, before he left and then never came back. And then the Jason thing got painted in somehow. Um, it was some kind of exodus, which was weird. And that was from Hofstra, which was the year after the Italian professor and uh, who looks like Jean-Claude Van Damme, but with salt, he had salt and pepper hair when he was teaching Italian in LIU, which was Brookville, in a suit. Like John Kirby kind of a suit. Although, I think he might have had a three-piece suit on. I Again, it's intermittent, the, vi the visual seeming of things. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make a note of that. The Cape May sweatshirt and my spare key from my Mini Cooper is the last time I operated and did Veracaton. Is, it stayed wherever... I was, and I got back my sweatshirt, but when I got my sweatshirt back, it had gigantic holes in it, indicative of I was in some kind of danger at some point, which is not unusual for this humanness that I'm trying to survive through and get back 
home to wherever I belong, which is not Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361, but it's where the dollhouse has me trapped at the moment. Um, in USA, USA, well, I'm UTSA, U-Z-Z-A, for whatever that's worth. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza.